Let us discuss about simple effects of total internal reflection. First one, surface of water in a baker appears silver when you when the baker is held above the eye level. That means if you held the baker above the eye level, the surface of water appears silvery because of total internal reflection. Observe this, if a ray of light entering water from below like this, this is a ray of light entering, entering water from below like this. It gets refracted, then it gets refracted like this and strike the surface of water. Next, then it gets reflected like this because it strikes the surface of water at more than critical angle. Here the critical angle of water is 48 degrees. Critical angle of water is 48 degrees. Here the ray strikes the surface of water at normal more than 48 degrees. That means more than critical angle. Then it gets total internal reflection. So the ray deviates in the same medium. The ray deviates to the same medium. The ray reflects to the same medium. And this ray strikes the beaker. Then it gets refracted like this. It gets refracted like this. So what happened here? Here the light ray strikes the surface of water more than critical angle. Then it gets total internal reflection. In the same way, if you observe the another ray like this, this strikes the water from below and it gets refracted like this and strikes the surface of water at normal. And if it strikes the surface of water more than critical angle, it gets total internal reflection like this. And it strikes the surface of, it strikes the edge of baker it gets refracted like this. Okay. What do you observe here? Here if a ray of light strikes the surface of water with more than critical angle, that means if a ray of light incident on the surface of water more than critical angle, then it gets total reflection. If you observe from the below, that means here it is I. If you observe that the surface of water looks like silvery because of this total internal reflection. That means these rays coming from the surface of water. These reflected rays are coming from the surface of water. That's why it looks like silvery. The surface of water looks like silvery. Okay, this, this is the reason for surface of water in a baker appears silvery. Okay. The effects of total internal reflection. The second one is the empty test tube appears silvery. That means when the test, empty test tube held obliquely in the water and viewed from the top of the surface of water, it looks like silvery. Like this is the empty test tube held obliquely in the water. When you observe from the top of the surface of water, it looks like that the surface of the test tube, this is, looks like silvery. Why does it happen? It is happened because of total internal reflection. Observe here, this is a ray of light traveling through the water and strikes the surface of glass and air. Where is the air here? This is air. In the test tube, it is having air and this is water. These are the two different mediums. It is water and it is air. So, if a ray of light passes through the water and uh, strikes the glass and air interface of the test tube at an angle more than critical angle. What is the critical angle of glass here? Critical angle of critical angle of glass is equal to 42 degrees. Here the critical angle is 42 degrees. That means if a ray of light strikes the glass and 
air this is glass this surface is glass and this is air here are two different mediums and strikes the glass air surface more than critical angle that means more than 42 degrees that means the incident angle is more than 42 degrees then it gets total internal reflection that means this ray gets total internal reflection and it, it passes like this so here the ray gets total internal reflection because here it strikes the glass air surface glass and air inner surface of the tube and this ray reaches the eye if you if you observe from the top of the surface of water here it is eye okay if you observe from the from here the ray reaches your eye like this and observe some uh, some other rays like this this ray strikes the surface of glass and air and what is the incident angle here the incident angle is more than critical angle then it gets total internal reflection like this so this reflected ray reaches the eye in the same way the light rays strikes the glass and air interface more than critical angle that means more than 42 degrees then it gets reflected like this this is total internal reflection here the three rays gets total internal reflection and reaches the eye and you observe from the top of the surface of water these rays are coming from the test tube surface of this test tube so that it looks like silvery the test tube looks like silvery because of total reflection we can observe the reflected rays from the surface of the glass tube test tube so it looks like silvery okay